Okay, I'm just going to describe a proper soap and water hand wash. So the decision about soap doesn't really matter. You can use bar soap. If you use bar soap, you need to rinse the surface of the soap first. Soap of any kind will support the growth of bacteria on it. So if you're using bar soap, rinse it off before you use it to wash your arms and hands. If you're using pump soap, same principle applies. It will support the growth of bacteria, especially if you are pressing down and putting your hand under it. A lot of times there's contact you f and bacteria from your hand, from your dirty hand, gets into the container. So uh, once that container runs out, you do have to rinse that out before you refill it or get a new one. And it doesn't matter if you're using antibacterial soap or just regular soap. Um, the soap, what its purpose is, is to break the surface tension on the water so that the water is used to, uh, to flush away the surface bacteria that is resident, living on your hands at all times, hands and arms. Adjust the water so that it's warm. If it's too hot, it actually will strip the oils out of your skin and if it's too cold, it will not be effective. So adjust the water. Get water all the way up to your elbows. You will soon learn how much soap you need to continue. Cleaning the palms of your hands, the backs of your hands, the most forgotten part is across your thumb here. In between your fingers, like this, and your fingertips. Now the principle that you're starting to use here is clean to dirty so that the fingertips, which you want to be your cleanest, are to be the most thoroughly cleaned and then you continue down your arm to your elbows like so. When you're rinsing, because you're doing clean to dirty again, what you're going to do is start your rinse at the top and you're going to rinse the water down your hands just like you see on the television programs uh, in the ORs and surgeries and you're going to rinse all of the dirt that you've loosened up here down to your elbow and the same with the other hand. Uh, my arm's probably in the way there. So you rinse it down. When you're drying your hands, you'll grab the paper towel and again starting at the top, moving down and not coming back up. So you're not dragging the bacteria back up. You come down, you throw that out, you get another one and you go down and throw that out. The taps are turned off with paper towel because taps are filthy.